Okay, so with the model and texture setup, uh, as you can see, we have no CFG file, no uh, uh, animations set up, uh, we have no uh, material file set up, and this is where I'm going to show you everything is going to be created automatically for you once you're exporting the model. Let's see, I'll we'll make sure our, uh, our units are in meters, so that transfer of uh, the model will be one to one. You never have to worry about scale again. Let's see, what can we start with? Um, first things first, also I forgot to mention in the previous video is that uh, the model has been UV mapped already. Uh, it has uh, uh, all the UV coordinates have been already set up. Um, what I'm going to do now is create that amb uh, ambient shadow map that I was talking about before. Now, one thing you have to know about ambient shadow is that it cannot be more than 15, 12 by 15. By uh, 512 by 512, I'm sorry. Um, um, yeah, and it should be in the red channel, so using the pink and white preset here. Other than that, the texture module hasn't changed a lot since uh, since the previous version, so that will be familiar for many of you who have already used the panel pack. What I'm going to do now is going to uh, basically call it the same, but Yes, on the end, and the uh, post fixes on uh, files, texture files are very important. Okay, and I'm going to click preview button and click apply. It's going to take a few minutes to render this out. Many of you would be happy to know that uh, the plugin now automatically sets. Uh, Metal Ray as the default uh, as the default uh, render, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, it looks a bit spotty, so maybe we can increase the quality a little bit. better. Um, of course if you want to render out uh, ambient occlusion maps for, to use in textures to blend them in into the actual diffuse uh, map you would be using the black-white uh, uh, combination and if you were using any diffuse colors of the model then you could have been uh, doing this through here exactly the same method Okay, so that goes through the texture model, and now we're ready to separate our model and create some name selections. <laughs> 